Hi reception, it's time for Jigsaw again this week and I've brought Jeannie with us to help us and this is one of our last lessons now in the topic of dreams and goals and today after our calm me time we're going to take a very special trip into the future but first we need to get ready for our Jigsaw lesson so get ready for calm me time okay Okay, children, before I play our chime, can you remember what we need to do in our calm me time? That's right, we need to sit with our back straight. We're going to close our eyes, put our hands on our tummies. We're going to feel calm and peaceful, strong and gentle. Right, I'm going to play the chime and I'd like you to listen until you can't hear the sound anymore. Listen. Now take a big deep breath in through your nose and puff out your rainbow breath through your mouth. Imagine you're blowing little hearts of kindness out as you breathe out through your mouth. Little hearts of kindness float all around to our family and our friends. Feel your tummies go up and down as you breathe. Feel calm, peaceful and safe. So breathe in a big gentle breath through your nose and gently breathe out your rainbow breath and imagine lots of little rainbow hearts floating out on your breath through your mouth spreading kindness as they float away feel your tummies get bigger and smaller as they breathe in and out like a balloon blowing up and then going down. Imagine lots of rainbow hearts floating around and some of them very gently land on you, making you feel loved and happy. Kindness makes you feel loved and happy. Let's do one more chime. Listen until you can't hear the chime anymore. Listen. Listen. How do you feel now calm me time is over? I hope you're feeling peaceful, calm, quiet and ready for our jigsaw lesson. Right everybody, to start our activity today, I would like you to find a comfy place in your house to lie down and close your eyes. We're going to go on a special journey on a rocket ship, but not to space. Oh no, this time we are going to zoom forward in time. We are going on a journey to the future. The rocket's about to take off. Are you comfortable in your seat? Have you got your seat belts on? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Off we go. We're taking off faster and faster, zooming, zooming through the air. I wonder when we're going to stop. We're going to stop. We're going to crash land. Oh, we're crashing into a different time. Oh my goodness. Where are we? We've landed in the future. Now that we've landed in the future, children, we're going to have a think about what we might do in the future when we're older. And in my hand here, I've got some picture cards of some different jobs that you might do when you're older. Things like a nurse, a 
lifeguard, a cleaner, a firefighter, a mechanic, fixing cars, a builder, a baker. I've got lots and lots of different jobs here. So I'm going to choose one and I'm going to see if you can guess what my job is, first of all. Okay, um, let me pick one here. Mm. Here we go. Oh, I nearly showed it to you then. I'm going to choose a different one. Okay, I've chosen one. I've chosen one. Are you ready? What was I doing then? What was I doing? I was playing a guitar. What job might I be if I was play might I have if I was playing a guitar? My job might be a musician. Now, I want you to have a think about what kind of things do we need to get good at if we would like to be a musician in the future. So if you like music and you would like to be a musician and play music for your job when you're a grown up, what things do you think that we would have to do right now while we're little to be able to prepare us to do that job? Maybe pause the video now, have a think, have a chat with your grown up, see what you think. That's right. If you wanted to be a musician, you could perhaps learn in reception about rhythm, about how to play different percussion instruments. Even our chime bar is a kind of a percussion instrument. And then maybe as you get older, you might learn how to play an instrument like the guitar. Well done. Right, I'm going to choose another job now. Okay. I'm going to act it out and see if you can guess what it is. Okay. Right, here we go. You ready? Stop right there. I've heard that there is somebody around here who has not been following the law. They have been breaking the law, robbing shops and taking things that do not belong to them. Do you know anything about it? What was I being then? What job was I doing then? That's right. I was being a police officer. A police officer. So have a think about a police officer. What does a police officer do? Hmm, what kind of skills, what kind of things do we need to get good at in reception so that we could perhaps be a police officer in the future? Pause the video again and have a think, have a talk with your grown-ups. Well done, you might have talked with your grown-up about being a good communicator. What does that mean? Being good at talking to people, being good at listening. Do you think police officers need to know how to read and how to write. Sometimes they write tickets or they write reports. So it's important to know how to read or write. What else do police officers need to do? I think they need to be quite strong and quite active too. So I think doing lots of exercise and lots of um, running and things like that would help you to learn how to be a police officer, to get nice and strong. Super children. Perhaps you could play that game at home. You could act out doing a job. You could even use your toys. You could even do it on Seesaw and record it for us to see. And have a think about what that job would need for you to learn to do now. What do you need to do while you're in reception before you can think about doing that job in the future? Have a think together. Children, for the last part of our lesson, I want you to have a think about a job that you might like to do when you get older. Remember, we're in the future. We zoomed on that rocket all the way to the future. What job would you like to do? Would you like to be a teacher like me? 
Would you like to be a builder? Would you like to be, there's a builder there. Would you like to be a dentist and help look after people's teeth? Would you like to be a firefighter, putting out fires? Have a think about what you would like to do and perhaps think about what you need to get good at if you want to succeed in that job. Remember, we're thinking about our dreams and our goals. How are we going to reach that goal, okay? You've all been working so hard this term, so I know that you're all gonna reach these goals because you're superstars. So well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our jigsaw lesson today. Jeannie's going to say goodbye. See you all soon. Bye-bye.